Hello, today we will talk about content hierarchy. Now, when we say content hierarchy, a lot of people get confused because they look at it as this really, really complicated task or process that we need to go through, but it's not really that difficult. The whole concept of content hierarchy is to be able to portray your message for your products or services and give information to the users online in a structured manner. Now we did a, a search session on structured content before. Content hierarchy is a little different than structured content because you build a content hierarchy before you start a marketing strategy. Now you can build a content uh, hierarchy for your new website. You can update your existing website's hierarchy. You can do this for a Facebook campaign. You can do this for a paid search campaign. You can do this even for traditional marketing like uh, uh, like an online PR or, or uh, if you're going through a rebranding process. So the whole concept of content hierarchy is that you create different categories and groups of content before you actually start a business or update your existing brand positioning with that content hierarchy. And we'll talk about that and we'll give some examples. So the first thing that you need to look at when you are creating a business or when you're creating a new website or when you're creating a, let's say a side niche website is before you do anything, you should build your menu structure. How is your website going to be visible to your audience? And what we will do is um, we will explain how we did this for Optimum 7. We offer services, we do software, digital marketing, and we have a bunch of other services. So we'll, we structured this. If you actually go to Optimum7.com, you'll see the menu in this hierarchy format. So you just open up a Word document and you put the titles, let's say your homepage, right? And then you have your services. Under your services, you might have A, B, C, D. Then you might have industries you serve. Under the industries, you'll have the different industries you serve. Then you might have a, a product section and the categories of products. And under that, you're going to have sub subcategories and sub product sections for niche. So the, the best way to explain this is if you set it up this way, what will happen is Google loves structured content and content hierarchy. Um, your users will be able to track this carefully from an organic SEO standpoint. You'll know exactly what to rank for. And it's very, very important coupling these with um, the keywords that you want to rank for, the audience that you're going after. What do those key, what's the search volume for those keywords? So you do that all in the content hierarchy phase where you don't write any content that people are not looking for. I'll give you an example. On Optimum7.com, we had a page that was titled, What We Do, right? The page is optimized for what we do, but nobody's searching for what we do. Instead of what we do, we should have said how to do marketing or how to execute a marketing strategy. So we see so many clients and websites that this is not optimized. And because they don't, they didn't have a content hierarchy. They didn't build this before they started their business or their current websites do not have a content structure. So why is this very important? It's important because it will allow you to rank online for these competitive terms and convert better.